Hello again. This is Stephen Welsh, Interim Chair of the International Chiropractors Association, with another update for Monday, March 8th. You know, it's been a month. It's been a month. It was February 8th that our chiropractic brothers in British Columbia already were denied the ability to take x-rays. And so my question to you today is, are you ready to take a side? Are you ready to join in? and defend chiropractic as it was originally defined by our founders, DD and BJ, because that's what's at stake. You see these rogue researchers I talked about last a couple of weeks ago, they're on a mission and their mission is to change our profession based upon a corrupted view of what science is. You see, in their mind, science is just, it's a random control trial study. And if you don't have that, it doesn't count. So I gave you the warning. All right, now it's time to take action. Well, today we're going to review some of what's going on and why it's going on so you have a better understanding. Then I'm going to have another call to action. Okay, and then I'm going to end. You know, last week I I met a world champion. And I want to introduce you to that world champion. I know uh, many of you out there, you uh, see sports figures, you know, they're not coming to see you for neck pain and back pain. They're coming for performance enhancement because they know that when they get adjusted on a regular basis and they go out on the field, they go out on on the court or whatever, they know that they perform better. So many of you adjust world champions all the time. But this is not just a world champion at his selected sport. Every one of us at some point in our life faces challenges, but some of us face bigger challenges. Well, I'm going to introduce you to this world champion, a world champion in life. And that's how we're going to conclude today. All right, well, let's begin already with a review so that you can understand the forces at play and why we need to come together, why you need to join forces with the ICA and all of the other organizations and chiropractors of like mind. Because if we don't, our profession as we know it won't exist in 20 or 25 years. So here goes. Okay, but I'm gonna tell you there's an existential threat because there's still elements out there that wanna contain chiropractic. They lost the battle 30 years ago about eliminating chiropractic, but they're sure going to contain chiropractic, and they're going to try to contain us and limit us to neck pain and back pain only, and they're going to try to deny the efficacy of the chiropractic adjustment to improve health. And so my mission is for the ICA to start gathering, uh, getting allies, getting national associations to affiliate, getting uh, educational institutions to affiliate, okay, and being the international voice of our brand of chiropractic for the practitioners and any of the associations that want to gather and collaborate. It's not about one organization telling everybody else what to do. It's about all of the like-minded groups gathering together to work together. In essence, what we're faced with is defending our profession as we know it. Where is this all coming from? Well, I was up in Canada last week, and there's a whole lot going on in Canada. about six months ago, our international director, uh, Dr. Nanda, uh, sent me a link to a podcast by a Green Shield of Canada. And, and about 30 minutes into the podcast, and I'm listening to the office of spin doctors and some uh, internet journalists, okay, that have been highly critical and claiming that the supplementation based chiropractor is not evidence based center. Okay, in that it was one sentence that they came up with, uh, Dr. Ben, uh, Dr. Dr. Paul Benedetti. And, and when, I, when I heard him say it, the light bulb went on in terms of what's going on. This is what he said. Some chiropractors feel that there is a neurological benefit from a chiropractic adjustment. Laugh. <laughs> that it's not simply MSK. And that opens the door to all kinds of treatments. Because as soon as you creep that door open, you're back to DD Palmer. Then, then you're 
we're back to the idea that there is a relationship between spinal adjustment and physical orders, and that gives license to a scope of practice that's all encompassing. That's when the light bulb went on. I'm here, and I'm in search of the truth. And I want you all to be in search of the truth. And, and, and right now, the ICA is being attacked. Has anybody seen this paper on immunity and chiropractic? Right? Do you know the ICA is being attacked because we had dared put that up on our website? Right? Well, I want you to picture that I have to defend this paper to all those that are attacking us at the WFC and their research council. Right? And, and this is my answer. I'll answer the question. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! <laughs> and my existence, while grotesque and incomprehensible to you, saves lives. Either way, I don't give a damn what you think you are entitled to. Now, that's my answer. Well, do you see what's at stake? Are you getting the picture? Are you, are you going to join in? Are we going to help our brothers up in uh, British Columbia and in Canada? And the ones in Australia and the ones in Europe? Are they where they're getting pressured by their regulatory bodies? Okay, because of the influence of the fake science that's being published in that whatever, whatever you want to call it of a journal? Don't get me started. Well, we need your help. We need you to get involved. Well, now as promised, okay, I'm going to introduce you to a world champion. Now, the world records he has, he's got the highest score for a first-time competitor in an artistic pool competition. And he was also the quickest artistic pool player to rise from amateur level to world number one. He did it in two years. And he also holds the world record for the highest score in a trick shot competition or a tournament, 296 points. And he's the youngest trick shot artist to win a ranked artistic pool cup tournament. But you see, he's not just a world champion at artistic pool. He's a world champion at life. And he, can, he sets an example. He sets an example for all of us that no matter what our challenges are, we have the capability within us to deal with them. So my hat's off to William DeYonker. I'm so proud of what, he, what you have done and your achievements. William has overcome struggles that um, it's unapparent at this juncture. Yeah. He was, um, at four years old, he was diagno diagnosed as high-functioning autistic. Oh. So he's uh, uh, on the Asperger's part of the, the syndrome spectrum. Um, what people would take for granted every day and uh, normal things like uh, talking or just getting your child to sit at a family dinner or, or getting to wear regular clothes, he had eating disorders, eat, uh, things that people would take for granted You know, were, were struggles for him. He spoke in two to three word phrases. When I was young, I always had like a mention in my head like knowing like I know the words like because when it comes to like watching movies I actually understand what people are saying in movies and when it comes to like trying to speak it out it was kind of hard because right. I don't know how to communicate how to express it basically. now that you understand what his challenges were all right I put together I, I went back and and put together a few um, of his YouTube videos and some of his trick shots it lasts about 40 45 seconds but it'll give you an insight on what he has learned to do I'm so proud of him He's a world champion, not just in pool. He's a world champion at life. And he sets an example that we can all follow when we face our challenges, whatever they are, with that I can do it attitude. <laughs>
Well, that's my that's my update for today. We'll be back in a couple of weeks. Uh, you know, it's been in a couple of weeks. It'll be a year. You know, a year since we started to flatten the curve. Remember, two weeks to flatten the curve. And what a year it's been. And it's been challenging for everybody. But remember, okay, the ICA, the ICA is here for you. The ICA is here for your patients. And together, okay, we're going to continue to get through these difficult challenges. That's it for today. And uh, we'll be back in a couple of weeks and uh, with some more updates and information.